got a 2014 BMW 750 it has the twin turbo V8 N63 reason why it's here the customer brought it to me for a check engine light multiple codes that he says uh, go to ground and no power no boost no no hard acceleration so first things first I'm gonna scan it and show you what trouble codes we have and go from there so there's our full system scan this car does have two DMEs one per bank and we'll take a look at the report and here's DME 1 it has uh, let's see charge pressure sensor electric short to ground rail pressure sensor absolute pressure sensor charge pressure sensor again or charge pressure control switch off as consequence okay so all of those look like uh, 5 volt uh, reference type sensors on DME1 and then DME2 the same exact sensors as uh, permanent description is that they're short circuit to ground so I am now in actual uh, DME1 in its fault memory and just to show you if I try to clear the codes let's see so they do not clear they are hard faults um, all look to be like I said related to 5 volt reference type sensors now when taking a look under the hood the first thing that stands out to me is this module here now that is in uh, it, it's not factory um, it's part of the uh, the dining system or package and I've had one in here before with this module but it was actually disconnected so the vehicles running uh, in factory mode basically what this does it's kind of a piggy piggyback module that will intercept sensors uh, interpolate them and then put them out in a different form to the DMEs now being that it's performance oriented I am assuming and betting that it's gonna try to steal and manipulate the uh, basically map sensors and, and rail pressure sensors and all that in order for um, it to manipulate the DMEs so being that all those for bank one bank two basically shorted to ground for both those banks on those sensors that I believe it's going to intercept I am simply going to unplug the jumper harness from both DMEs and recheck the codes now the way this works is that here is the factory harness that would plug into the DME but instead it plugs into this jumper harness which goes over to the little piggyback and then it has a separate one that then goes into the DME to send back the info so it intercepts it processes it and sends it back to the DME so I am going to eliminate that from both banks and see if I can clear the codes if I can then it's safe bet that this unit is shorting out those 5 volt uh, sensors okay so I've got them removed from the jumper harness and connected directly to the DME eliminating the piggyback so we'll key it on and try the same thing actually right now it's listed as intermittent I can't remember if it was permanent before but it might have been let's see if they'll clear and we'll reread and no more fault
volt. Okay, so that tells us none of those sensors are shorting out the 5 volt reference signal. It is going to be all from that piggyback module. Again, it's just a matter of taking a look and seeing. Obviously, aftermarket components always tend to not last long and cause issues. But being that both banks have the same exact fault and this unit intercepts all those uh, pressure sensors to manipulate the DMEs um, decided to go there first this one's kind of straightforward simple he can either drive it now back in factory mode or contact them and tell them that their unit is shorted to ground when the 5 volt circuit so nothing crazy on this one just a little bit of common sense taking a look under the hood seeing what you have based on the trouble codes and visual inspection leading you to uh, a component to be the one with the common denominator. So I hope you like this quick tip type one. Uh, not much more to it and we'll be moving on from this and letting the customer know what he needs to do. But that's all. Um, and so until the next time, we'll see you then.